This is Adrian Hart with your Southeast Colorado News on seconews.org. I'm here with Dean Reese. Now, in this role, is your title director? Yes. Uh -huh. He's the director right. of the oh, Otero yes. College oh, Choir. That sounds important. It does sound important. Uh, you've got 23 people under your direction. That's right. And just before we hit record, you were talking about their vari variety of voices and how you're going to have a nice uh, nice showing. I think it'll be really good. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Coming up April 29th. Okay, well, first I want to say thanks to Adrian Hart and Seco News for allowing us to do this. It's greatly appreciated. Uh, we have a concert coming up just next week, next Monday on April 29th. It's at the college at Stafford Theater at 7 p.m. And best part, mission yes. is free. free. Yes, <laughs> okay. So uh, I'm, I think people will really enjoy this concert because of the variety of music and the theme. Uh, I decided that I would pick some of my favorite arrangers that uh, uh, arrange music. Uh, the, the concert's entitled Familiar Tunes, New Takes. So the arrangers, they'll take a given piece of music and then they'll transform it into something completely new. And uh, we've got some great examples here. Uh, first, uh, When the Saints Go Marching In, arranged by John Rutter, one of my favorites. Uh, it, it's great because it's in a Dixieland style. And uh, w one of the things that the arranger does to make that happen is he adds in a clarinet part. Sounds like right out of Louis Armstrong's band. And it's really cool. I think you'll enjoy that. Each verse, uh, well, it starts off with just the basses, and then it adds in the tenors, and then the bass part, and then the drums come in, and then the clarinet, and it just keeps building, building, and then uh, so uh, pretty yes, fun, it, wouldn't you say? Indeed, it's a lot of fun. And toward the end, the choir actually divides into two choirs, and we're singing against each other or with each other. Right. Hopefully with. <laughs> <laughs> but two different things that we're singing at the time and and that is really a lot of fun and it sounds really interesting. Yeah, I think it's a fun uh, piece and then it, it we have a clarinetist his name is Jacob Martinez and he's playing with When the Saints. He's also playing with another piece uh, Tenting Tonight on the Old Campground, a very moving song from Civil War times. And uh, Jacob is great on that one too. Now, uh, now more contemporary uh, would be uh, Blue Suede Shoes, the old Elvis hit. Uh, it's arranged by Kirby Shaw, who's just the best when it comes to arranging uh, contemporary music. And it, it's really, really faithful to the original. I think that one's a lot of fun. And uh, also, uh, uh, Kirby Shaw arranged St. Louis Blues, which uh, will be sung uh, by a female trio of Terry Miller and Rebecca Grantham and Kate Prime. I think people will really like that one, too. Yes, uh, we've heard those ladies sing around town for various community events, and they are really good together. Yeah. And uh, I'm looking forward to hearing them do St. Louis Blues. Yeah, it's a good one. Uh, Mary Poppins, we're opening up with Mary Poppins, a medley of uh, four songs, uh, Chim Chim Tree, Spoonful of Sugar, uh, Let's Go Fly a Kite, and Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Did you want to uh, say anything about that? Oh yes, that's actually my favorite. I, I sing tenor in this group. It is a, a choir, a four-part harmony, soprano, alto, tenor, and bass. I get to sing in the tenor part. And this is one of my favorite parts, the Let's Go Fly a Kite. That, I, I just fly with that one. That is a lot of fun. So it brings back a lot of Mary Poppins memories. But as you say, the arrangement is really interesting that there are different things happening and the tenors get to come in after the sopranos. And well, it's fun. Yeah, yeah. I, I think people will like that one because it's a very fun, familiar music. Yes. Uh, another piece we're doing is a little unusual. It's newly composed, so you can't really say it's arranged, but my thought there was that uh, it's called Inscription of Hope, and the composer takes a text that was found on the wall of a basement in Cologne. Uh, and it was after the Nazis had left. There had been Jewish people hiding in this basement and there was an inscription on the wall to the effect of, I still believe in the sun even when it's not shining. 
and I believe in hope, and I believe in Love, love, even when there's no one That's there. It. Even when there's no one there. And there's also a hope for peace in this particular inscription. And they've taken whoever did the arrangement on this. You 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 know the person's name. Yeah, Renee Clausen. Uh, put this text that they found inscribed in this cellar in Cologne, Germany, to a Russian folk song melody. And it's really beautiful. It's it's really moving. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. Yes. So uh, yeah, that's uh, one that brings tears to the eyes. Now, when it comes to transformed music, here's the ultimate example. We <laughs> all know, joyful, joyful, we adore thee. Right. Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. Okay. Well, how about an arrangement of that piece in a disco style? Can you believe it? Now it's from Sister Act Two, so that that kind of explains, you know, where how that all evolved and developed and everything. But it's great. I mean, it's it, it's tricky. It took me a long time to work out the piano parts of that because tricky harmonies and Judy, you Indeed. were saying <laughs> that's the most difficult tenor piece I've ever sung. Yeah, so, so. but it's amazing how it goes together with the other parts, and it sounds beautiful. And and Beethoven, I think, would love it. I think, I so think too. he would. I think he really would. It's really well done. So you can all come and watch Judy and see if she looks nervous. Oh, okay. I will. I will. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to finish up the evening with "It's a Grand Night" for singing by Rogers and Hammerstein. So that's a good one to end with. Uh, just oh, but to... you've left out Joshua with the Battle of Jericho, which oh, yes, is I also have. one of my favorites to sing. That one is uh, is is great, and it's kind of fits into the African American tradition, and it has some great rhythms and some great harmonies, and and it is really a fun part to sing. Mm -hmm. Much easier than Joyful, Joyful. Oh well, yes, <laughs> that goes well saying, I guess. Uh, I'll just mention one uh, one more arranger. His name is Bob Chilcott, and he's arranged a couple of uh, things in kind of a jazz style. So Mike Shima is going to sing Waltzing Matilda in a jazz style, and I'm going to sing Starborough Fair in a jazz style that sounds a lot like Dave Brubeck and Take Five. So you can imagine that. I'm look for, looking forward to that one. Okay. Uh, we have three very talented instrumentalists uh, and our accompanist. Uh, Jordan Borrego is coming from Pueblo. He is absolutely the best drummer you've heard. We love it when he can come. He's coming with a friend, Zach Mata, on bass. And then I've already mentioned Jacob Martinez doing a great job with the clarinet part. So uh, one more thing to uh, mention is our accompanist, Mary Ballou, absolutely the best. She is. Uh, absolutely the best long time music teacher and uh, just like our former accompanist like uh, Sally Cappell I can hand any piece of music to Mary and she can play it just perfectly she okay. is great she so. is great well, I'd like to mention a duet and that's with the Goldings actually Doug Golding has has written new lyrics to a Christmas song, turned it into an Easter song, and he and his daughter Kristen, Kristen Langston, who teaches music at the junior senior high school, they are going to sing that together, and I look forward to hearing them do that. Yeah, that's another example of how to arrange something, write new lyrics to something that's already composed. So wide variety of music, a wide variety of arrangers and approaches to arranging music. I think it'll be very interesting and most of all, I think it will be very entertaining. So we invite you April 29th, Monday night, 7 p.m. at the college and free admission. Hope to see you there. Yes.